This is James Harden. He is without question one of the best players in the NBA today. He is a vicious scorer that can make anyone look foolish trying to defend him. His court vision is almost unparalleled as he snaps passes to teammates with precision and perfect timing, leaving the defense helpless to get a hand up. If you want to learn how to play basketball like James Harden does, then I urge you to check out Point Guard College. They have camps all around the country that teach you how to think the game. Once you master the why, you can unleash your inner Harden, Curry, or LeBron in an instinctual way taught with their excellent progressive teaching methods. Point Guard College runs over 100 camps in 30 states, so find one nearest you and separate your game from your competition. What separates the beard from just about any other player on the planet is his ability to draw fouls. Strong shoulders. Quick first step. No fear of contact. The best compliment Harden gets is the frustration on the faces of the opposing defenders and coaches. It started four seasons ago when Harden first got to Houston and he hasn't let up since. His scoop move to the hoop proved too much of an allure to defenders, who couldn't help but get their arms out and whacked as he initiated the contact into his shooting motion. I'm looking to get to the rim and, and, and score the basketball. Uh, obviously, the contact is there. Um, in some cases, you know, if it's a bigger guy, then I have to, you know, find a way to get contact. If I don't have the, you know, the dunk or, or the layup, so uh, it just depends on the scenario. It was hard to criticize Harden for clearly utilizing a rule designed to protect drivers to the rim. Some defenders got better at adjusting and getting their arms out of the way, leaving Harden to flail, waiting for a whistle that would never come. While Harden had one of the greatest offensive seasons of all time this year, he also developed newer, more creative, and downright comical ways to draw that whistle. But none has been more infuriating than the three-point shot foul. He has pushed the boundaries of the rules so far, most fans have begun shouting from the rafters. Is this really a foul? Is Harden really shooting a legitimate shot? Should we not penalize a defensive player for so foolishly reaching in at the ball so often? Has Harden bent the rules so far they can never be straightened out? In the first round alone, James Harden drew nine shooting fouls from behind the three-point line, with all but one while running a pick and roll. The defender's job is to get over the screen and stay attached to his man, but we've never seen a player as quick as Harden who can instantly break into a shooting motion before his man has had a chance to react. Ronnie Nunn was an NBA referee for 19 years and head of NBA officials for five more, and today he joins us to weigh in on whether these calls are legit and whether the rules should change. So, Ronnie, let's get right into it because we have a clip up here with um, in the in the playoff of the Houston versus the uh, Thunder. And walk me through what you're seeing on him going to his left into a pick and roll and pulling up and drawing this foul. I mean, what we're seeing here really is we're seeing a player actually develop a shot after a foul. You really want to see a player in his shot before he's you know getting a developed foul that is for him so uh this is kind of like what used to happen with misdirections uh it first happened with isaiah thomas the original isaiah thomas who would go across the lane he'd get fouled and then as a secondary thought he i mean actually dribble across the lane and then as a secondary thought he'd shift his body and shoot towards the hoop and and, and you know the commentators would say you know, great poise and great state of mind to react like that. And we were giving that shot some years back when we started realizing this is an afterthought. And the key word was afterthought. And and so that stopped that. This is another version of that, of that but certainly more shrewd. I He creates an afterthought uh, on the shot purposefully. 
So I think what we're saying here is that we're not going to dispute the foul. It looks to me like there's a collision with those arms. The defender is getting his hand in the cookie jar, uh, which is another one of those disciplined things they need to work on. But it seems to me that, yeah, you can't dispute the foul. It's only a question of do we give him three free throws or does it, do we turn it into one of those rip-through fouls where it's only going to be out of bounds? In, in this case, even though it's with the ball, the same concept is to think about it without the ball. So in both these situations, I think he's encouraging a foul by hooking a player into the into the act before the player really has a chance to be uh, illegal. Well, let's talk about the second one because the other key here, what I thought, is that there's a distinct uh, distinction between these two. One, when you're dribbling with your left hand, which then, you know, the ball is in your shooting hand and in the motion, so I can understand a little bit of that. But now, on the other clip we have, he's dribbling with his right hand. The ball is in his right hand, and he hooks it with the left off arm, which is not really the off arm. That's the shooting hand. And the ball doesn't even get into the shooting hand until way after the, uh, the contact occurs. Is there any – Do we should we be looking at that as part of this uh, as you decide whether there's a shooting foul? I think it goes back to the foul that he's committing something before he goes into a habitual sh- motion for a shot. He is committing a hooking foul before the habitual motion of a shot. In other words, on most shoot, we don't see many shooters grab a ball with one hand to shoot. I mean, uh, it, it can happen. But we usually have a guy going up with two hands. I mean, even Oscar Robertson, who was a great shooter with one hand, came up with the ball with two and then released his left hand and then made this unusual, you know, unprecedented shot, which still is not around. But in this case, I do believe that he is creating a foul with the off arm for a shot. And if it's on a dribble, it's also an an infraction, in my view, because he's hooking into the body to gather a, 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 a sense that the fowler is the defender and not him. And I think you got to really look at this. And in real time, I think it's very difficult for the guys. And I think it's something they're going to have to elevate their eyes and their game to see. Because in all fairness, in real time, it is tough to see that he's done anything wrong here. Um, but I think the off arm is clear and, and it's different. And it's gathering the ball after the off arm is really being hooked into the the defender. So in both cases, for me, I see an offensive foul in in each case because he is actually looking to make contact with the off arm. Wow. That's my view on this. And, uh, of course, with the value of uh, replay, we can see it. I think this has to be explained to officials and then try to see. You know, we learn from players. Let's not take away anything from Harden's unique, shrewd creativity. It is tremendous. But in some creative measures, you're doing someone is doing something illegal. Who's the illegal guy here? And if it looks that uh, cosmetically terrible, then the call is offensive. Wow. That, that's how I would handle that. Okay. Well, we'll see how they do and what happens going forward in the playoffs. I have no doubt it will continue to be a controversial play throughout this playoffs until they do something about it. So we'll have to find out what the, uh, the league will and ultimately uh, decide. But Thank you so much for lending your ear and your brains to this operation. I think that was a really great explanation, and I think it'll help some uh, of the fans against you to understand a little bit more where we're coming from. So there you have it, sports fans. When certain transcendent players have come along, the game has been forced to change the rules to balance things out. And we shall see whether Harden's three-point shot fouls rise to the level of the all-time greats.